Today, I'm gonna build five Lego bridges using different techniques to see which one can hold up the best against weighted Lego cars. But first, let's see how much weight Lego can hold before it breaks. Starting with five pounds, 10 pounds, 20, 25, are you kidding? 30 pounds, uh, 35 pounds. I'm all out of weights. As you see, Lego can hold up a lot of weight. So we're gonna build up some Lego bridges. Starting with the most basic bridge design, an arch bridge. It literally just has an arch, but ours is gonna need to be pretty long because we have a four foot pool of water. We're gonna be driving these vehicles over. Now that we've got a solid foundation, we can start building the arch. We're gonna build this in two halves. So what I'm gonna do is just grab a brick and go out one stud. And then we can go maybe two out. As long as we just increase the number, we can get an arch going. I'm just gonna keep building and hopefully we'll get something strong enough to drive the cars over. As you can see, we're getting some headway here. <laughs> now we're overlapping on this side by three studs and pretty soon I'm just gonna do a band that goes across so the arch will just be on the sides. The science behind this is actually super unique. Every layer you go down, it divides the weight into the layers below it. So any pressure up top is divided all the way down. Kind of similar to how a heavy object becomes lighter when you have a friend to move it with you. If we build it like this, it'll be really strong. So now I just gotta build one more of these and we connect it with a road up top and test it out. Okay, so we have the bottom part of the arch bridge. Then I'm just gonna take the top of this bridge and snap it down on top of here. Then we just gotta gently push this down on the edges here. That should snap in. So here we have the first bridge, the arch bridge, all set up. I have the Lego Corvette as the first car of the video and I've done two things. First, I've built this little adapter for the top here. And that's gonna allow us to put different weights on the car so we can see how much weight each one of these bridges can handle. And then the second thing is I've built up this winch system using a Lego motor and a worm gear and that will actually pull it across. So if we attach our little clip there, we gotta get our Ooblock crash test dummy inside the vehicle. If we just crush just a little bit like that. All right, here we go, let's test. I'm gonna turn this on, flick this switch, and we're gonna see if it can pull it across. Oh my gosh, this is nerve wracking. Is it gonna move? It's going, it's moving. Oh, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. It has to make it all the way across for it to count. All right, we made it all the way across. Let's up it to 10 pounds. Okay, it's moving. Oh no, I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna crash right when it gets to the middle. Steer it back. Okay, 10 pounds in the middle of the bridge. Both wheels are not happy right now. They are not rolling under that weight. <laughs> Dude, this little winch is working perfectly. It has pulled 10 pounds successfully across this bridge. The arch bridge is a complete success. As you can see, our Ooblock guy, he's totally fine. So let's build up the next bridge and test the next car. For the next bridge, I wanna build a tensegrity bridge, which has never been done before because it's super unsafe and wouldn't work in real life, but it might work in Lego. <laughs> so the first thing we gotta do is build up a road and then we'll build a tensegrity part underneath it. All right, so now that we got the road for the second bridge done, it looks a lot like the road for the first bridge, but now we're gonna build the tensegrity things that are gonna actually hold this up. If you're not familiar with the term tensegrity, it's this concept where you have two platforms and three ropes, and they link together in such a way where it looks like the top platform is floating. So I'm thinking, we build a tensegrity on each side of the bridge, so it'll technically be floating and possibly wobbly. So we're gonna start with a base plate for the bottom. So let's build a quick base on top of this. And I'm gonna attach some Technic bricks right here, separated by a couple of plates, and that way we can put the hook in it. Put two plates and then another Technic brick, and now this should stand up straight. Nice. We just gotta build this thing up to be a little taller and then go out in this direction. Now. So now that we have this first hook, we just need to make another one that we will invert and put upside down. Then we'll build up a simple base on top using plates and link together the whole thing with ropes. Now that we got this, we just need to tie it together with ropes here and then on every corner. And theoretically, this top part... <laughs> that was legitimate, I'm so tired. Theoretically, this top part will float. So I've cut all these ropes, and these just slide onto here. So if we hang this top part by these four ropes, as you can see, it doesn't float. That's not how it works. So what we actually have to do is take this rope here and tie it onto that. And then, once we do that, as you can see, there we have our floating tensegrity. Look, it's completely floating. Like, just check that out. You could float it, that's so cool. And my thought is we could just put each side of the bridge on top of that, like that. We gotta make these arms a little stronger, but that is super promising. Now just build one more of these and we'll put it on each side of the bridge. I have absolutely no faith in this bridge, but we're gonna take our top and just uh, put it right on top of here. It's falling apart already, guys. This is the wobbliest bridge ever. <laughs> so here it is, we have our tensegrity bridge. I have no idea how this is gonna work, I'm not gonna put any weight on this one because I don't even think the car will make it across. But we'll grab Ooblot, we'll put him in the passenger side. He doesn't fit perfectly inside the cars, but he fits well enough to test. 
and then we'll take our hook like that. Will a bridge made of tensegrity actually work? <laughs> Here we go. All right, it's moving. The weight is holding. As you can see, this is held up entirely by tensegrity. Wow. I think it's actually gonna work. <laughs> no way. We made it to the other side. We're gonna try 2.5 pounds. Oh no. This is so, so nerve wracking, seriously. Now turn the wheels so it doesn't steer off. It's right in the middle, dude. This is great. <laughs> now I'm curious, can we add five pounds? Right here. Five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. You know, the actual bridge part held together a lot better than I was expecting. As you can see, we have our tensegrity. It didn't actually break. It just came loose. We got Ooblot in the water here. How did he do? <laughs> what? Apparently Lego cars float, everybody. By the way, get your Ooblot down below. Link in the description. We just restocked the Crash Test Dummy buildable figures. So if you want one of these to use in Lego Crash Tests, it's really fun to build and it's totally poseable. So you can put it in like any pose. Link down in the description. We also still have a bunch of minifigures left, so grab those too. That's Tensegrity. <laughs> On to the next bridge. So the next bridge I want to build is called a truss bridge. And the cool thing about this bridge is all of the structure is on top of the bridge. So there's really nothing under it to keep it from falling down. And the way it accomplishes that is by using triangles. For example, you can see here if I build two shapes on the square, all these points can actually hinge. So when you put pressure on it, it collapses. But on the triangle, none of these points can move around. So as soon as you apply any pressure on it, it is extremely sturdy from any angle. So for the truss bridge, we're gonna combine a bunch of these all the way down, which will turn our floppy bridge into a sturdy structure. So first I'm just gonna build up a quick road for this, and then we'll attach the trusses to the sides. I always like to start this off the same way, just a bunch of 16 by 16 plates, which I can lock together with tiles. You have no idea how loud it is when I just have to build all these bridges. So we got our two bridge pieces, and now, as you can see, it's very, very floppy. So I'm gonna line this with two layers of Technic bricks, and then I'll add some to the sides as well so we can attach the trusses. And then as you can see, what it's doing is it's just coming up right there. So the whole point of using these is we need to connect them. So what I like to do, just grab some of these three long pins, and then since we're already connected to the plates, I just like to push it through from the outside. Sometimes I use my hammer. <laughs> and you just gotta make sure you put four in each brick so that it has two points of connection on each thing. You just gotta do this all the way down. So now we need to integrate these Technic bricks onto the sides here. And while we could just do that, it probably should because it'd be easier, I want to cover up all these colored things. So I'm gonna use some bricks. And then we'll sandwich our Technic brick like that. And that'll give us a way to attach the trusses inside there, which should make it pretty strong. So now we got our bridge built up. And as you can see, it is very wobbly. Let's build up some trusses. So we're gonna take two of these. And we're just gonna connect each end like this. And now we have our triangle structure. The bottom part of this is gonna snap right into the bridge. As you can see, the rest of this is bending a lot and this part is just totally not. So now we just continue this technique all the way down on both sides and I think that'll really, really make this strong. Check that out. You can see here on the top layer, I'm just adding a single lift arm or a couple that are latched together to lock everything together. All right, check us out. <laughs> that is a flat bridge and that is looking really, really strong. Look at that. This one I'm super hopeful for. It's like the strongest one I've built so far. For this bridge, we have the red pickup truck. We're gonna put it right here, and then I just built this little thing into the bed so we could put our weights on top. I think he'll actually fit in here, you guys. Oh, no, there's a giant door mechanism in the way. Well, we can get half of Ooblot in there. <laughs> I'm pretty confident in this one, so I'm gonna start it at 10 pounds. Here we go. The truss bridge is such a cool technique. Oh, it's moving. Will it make it across? The only thing I'm a little worried about is the plates on the bottom, because they're 16 by 16 plates. That's the only weak spot. I think the sides will stay together. I love Ooblot in there. Just chilling. Here he goes. It's in the middle of the bridge. Oh, it's kind of bending right here. Something's about to snap. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no. The trusses have come off the side, but. Oh. Did we break the winch? No, it just came off. Oh man. I'm gonna call that a fail. There's no way that the car was getting across after that, so. Hey, but honestly, 10 pounds took it to the very middle of the bridge, and you can see. Well, I was just about to say, you can see the triangles haven't broken, but check out the damage. <laughs> Ooblot's good. <laughs> 
back the man he used to be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can see the plates and the tiles just snapped here, and then these came off the sides, but it worked pretty well. So that's a truss bridge for you. The next one though is gonna actually use motors to work. So let's check out that one. <laughs> so the next bridge I wanna build is a drawbridge, which is basically just a bridge that opens up, that way ships can go underneath it. So I think I'm gonna repurpose our winch system and build a couple more of these for each side. So we'll basically have a base with a large tower that comes up, and then we'll have a rope attached to that that'll actually bring up the other side of the bridge. I'm kinda unsure how we're gonna make this hold up the weight in the middle, so let's start by building a base. Guys, big brain move. So there's gonna be so much weight on the center of the bridge and we don't want it to collapse since it's not attached. We're gonna put weights on the edges to kind of counterweight it. So we'll build like 10 pounds in each side of this and that should at least give it a good chance. And to make the bridge actually able to attach to this, what I'm gonna do is integrate some Technic bricks in the sides here. There we go. And then when we build up the bridge, we'll just make sure to include some Technic connections on it. Now for the actual tower structure, I think I'm gonna build up two long arms out of Technic brick, kind of like I did for the Tensegrity. That way we can mount the winch system to the top. This may not be pretty, but it will be functional. Just gotta build up one or more of those on this side. So to make the winch on this thing so it actually works, I'm gonna use a worm gear. We should be able to feed an axle through somewhere to a motor to get that motorized. Shoot this long axle through. See? Now we take these guys and go through just like that. And we should be able to connect this, like that. Okay, that piece goes there. Now we turn this on, this thing spins, and we'll make our winch actually pull something up. Now we just need to attach two ropes to this axle, and then once we attach it to the bridge, we will have a functioning drawbridge. The last thing before we connect this all together is just the bridge part, the important part. And then specifically because I want to and not because they make base plates in that color, we're gonna use green. And once we got our Technic bricks and our base plates in place, we just need to lock down a bunch of bricks on top of it and add some Technic in the middle to make it strong so it doesn't fold. Guys, leave a like if you appreciate how many bricks I've had to place this video. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of just normal for the tips of my fingers to have little indentations where the studs are. <laughs> it's so much fun though. All right, we got the first one done up here. I'm thinking it might work. All I gotta do is duplicate this and we'll test it out. We're gonna put our weights on the inside of this here. So we're gonna do 20 pounds of each. Now with those weights in place. Ah, so sus. All we have to do is just use this little remote and that tells the IR receivers in the winches to unravel it. Nice. <laughs> Boom, here we go. The next vehicle we have for this is the Porsche convertible. It's convertible now because I had to take the top off to put the weight thing on. We're gonna put Ublot inside like this. And what I'm gonna do is just put this up slightly on each side. That way when it gets to the middle, I'm hoping the tension will push these down enough to where they'll be flat, but it won't break. And now, you can just clip this underneath the car. For this one, I'm going to start with 2.5 pounds. Here we go. Start winding it up, it'll go across. I think it might be able to make it over the gap, but I'm a little nervous that it just won't line up right. Oh no, it's creaking. It's going down. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, no! Oh. It's still going! Wait, it can bring it out of the water. <laughs> it's pulling it out of the water. Well, I mean, to be perfectly honest, half of it's still there. So, <laughs> there's that. There it goes. <laughs> Dude, this winch is awesome. This is so cool. Hey! All right, we made it across the bridge, but half of it fell, so technically it's a fail. Some would say I'm a failure. This bridge is half successful, you guys. <laughs> and my favorite car is still alive, which is the best part. Let's build the next one. The next bridge I want to build is a suspension bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge is actually a suspension bridge. It's basically just a long road with pillars in the middle and then reverse arches that are all connected to hold the bridge together. So first I'm going to build the road with Technic bricks along the sides like we did for the last one. And that's really easy. And then we're going to build the suspension arches, which we'll have to attach to two large pillars. I'm just going to do what I did for the drawbridge, basically build two long pillars that come up out of Technic. What I'm doing here is just building up a shell on the outside of the Technic structure. That way, It'll be a lot stronger. I ran out of red Technic bricks, so. My thought is we just build it down a little bit further and that will attach to the legs, which will just go underneath. So as you can see, this is uh, a little bit wobbly, which is the whole point of suspension bridge. We actually make it so it's not wobbly anymore. 
What we're gonna do is use a bunch of these Technic lift arms and attach them to the sides to make ropes that will arch around and go to the other side. And we just snap all these together with these little Technic pins. Look, we're getting the triangle shape again. That is how triangles work. Okay, now that we have the arches on there, my thought is we just literally take some lift arms and attach them at different intervals. If we grab some Lego axles, we can actually put these on the inside of these bricks. Now we're getting something going there, check it out. I think the looseness of these Technic bricks is gonna be a problem because these can literally just pull up. So we're gonna need to put another layer of bricks over that and then build it up on the sides. But I think once we get that locked down, it should be a lot stronger. And hopefully when we put it over the pool, it'll actually hold together. <laughs> All right, and now that we have the structure of our bridge, all we gotta do is build two pillars down to the floor under these two areas. All right, there we have it. We have two little legs on the bottom. So that is strong there, and that is strong there. I don't know how strong it is in the center, but we're gonna test it out and find out. The last and probably heaviest vehicle is the Lego Volkswagen van. So I'm gonna put a little oobot on the inside. It's chilling. And for this one, I'm going to put 10 pounds because I'm super confident in this bridge. Here we go, click on the winch. Let's see if it works. This one took a really long time to build, but I'm so confident in the technique. Oh, it's moving. It's crossing the bridge. This is so much fun, literally. Just watching each one of these go across. The suspense on this bridge is crazy. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's about to enter its weakest points, almost past the middle of the bridge. Dude, no way. We might have to load more weight on this, actually. You're so close to the end, you could do it. It successfully made it to the other side of the bridge. I'm gonna add five more pounds. All right, here we go. That's it, we did it. We've made it across with 15 pounds. I'm really curious if we set the car in the middle, how much is gonna take to crash this? 10, 15 pounds, 30 pounds, 35 pounds, 45 pounds. Oh. That was it, 45 pounds on this Lego bridge. Look at that, that's so cool. Huge thanks for watching this video. Check out one of these two popping up on your screen and make sure you check out this video's sponsor, Crazy Kai's Bricklink Store for your Lego brick needs. You can check them out by clicking the link down in the description or this button right here on the screen. I'll see you in the next one.